So um, here's a sample configuration, and I uh, want to go over it. So on each generator, we have the uh, load per stream block scheduling mode. And as you can see, there's two stream blocks per port. And when we look at all the stream blocks, we see that each of them, port 1 has stream blocks at 10 and 20 frames per second. Port 2, 30 and 40. Port 3, 50 and 60. And port 4, 70 and 82. So when we run these, we should have 30, 70, 110, and 152 respectively. And that's exactly what we get there. Okay? So we want to preserve those um, load per stream blocks. And um, so the problem is when you go through the throughput wizard, it looks like um, it won't allow you to do that. So what we'll do is we will go and use the custom throughput wizard. We'll use a custom test. And instead of using fixed duration, though, we'll use the throughput. And the strategy here is uh, we'll be able to set the duration, we'll be able to set the frame sizes and iterate through that. But um, we'll have this load, um, this uh, iterate uh, throughput command that goes through this section of configuration. Basically, what we'll do is we'll just delete that. Okay. So in, in this uh, demonstration, we'll just use 10 um, seconds and two frame sizes just so that it goes a little bit quicker. We'll go ahead and finish that. Um, but as I said, we wanted to not iterate the load because, I mean, if we do this, you basically wipe out these the loads that we already have per stream block. So what we do is we just go ahead and delete this. So I select that and cl click on the delete key. Now, if we leave things like this, what will happen is when we get into this loop, these commands will just continue to iterate infinitely um, because there's no uh, nothing stepping through those different load sizes or controlling the load sizes and giving us an exit uh, a loop exit condition so what we want to do is ungroup this basically and uh, there's a couple ways to do it what the easiest way is to select loop and go ahead and say ungroup and you see that all these commands moved up one level right now, one thing I did notice um, is in this clear all results, it's empty. So probably want to check that. So every time we go through the through a loop um, and hence the frame size, the save iteration results will make a little bit more sense. OK? So again, the traffic duration, uh, we set at 10. You can So you can change that here if you want. Uh, you know, you want to set at 300, of course. But uh, any time during the test you want to change that, you can do that. And, uh, and over here is we're using a custom frame size, so it uses this, this, these two parameters here. This would be also the stream blocks that you can select or deselect them as needed. Um, and I, in here, adjust the uh, frame sizes as needed. All right, so we'll go ahead and click OK. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Here all our results view, and go ahead and run it. So what you see here in the first iteration, we see that it is running at 64 bytes. And you see the loads being generated just as we have them specified on, on each stream block. Then after the iteration results database is saved, we'll iterate through the next frame size, which is 120 frames. Um, 128 bytes. And again, we're still running at the same frame rate that we set on our stream block. OK. And so uh, just in uh, review, what we did was we went through the, um, the wizard. We set up a custom test. And we did use the custom throughput test. But eventually, after we finished configuring our duration and our frame sizes, we went ahead and deleted that uh, iterate throughput command and then moved all these commands out of that loop by selecting that and ungrouping it. And then what we ended up with is this 
resultant command sequence. Thanks.